everybody? Dale from Nova Records coming at you with another video. Um, it is 7.30 in the morning and I am going to up towards Asheville. I've got a, a guy up there that is like a touring musician. Uh, he has like, he says he has a bunch of good like metal and punk and stuff, which is stuff I never ever see. So, um, I am going up there to see if I can get it. And if so, it'll be a really exciting record store day because a lot of people will be looking for that. So um, I will let you guys know. Stay tuned. Hey guys, uh, pretty successful trip overall. A couple hours up, a couple hours back. Uh, so it's been a long day on the road, but it was definitely worth it. Got some really, really killer stuff. Um, just ended up trading my Lynn turntable to this guy plus a bunch of cash. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to kind of go through some of the heavy hitters with you. All right, guys, I'm back at home. Uh, it's been a long day of driving and I had a bunch of other stuff to do getting ready for record store day. So I um, got a bunch of great stuff. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of it. Um, I, there are a few keepers, but I'm not showing them in this video. So everything in this video is available on Friday. Record Store Day, Black Friday, November 29th. We're opening at 9 a.m. I know I said in my last video it was going to be normal hours. I decided to pull it back to 9 to give everybody extra time to get there and look and all that stuff. But we're going to have some great stuff. I already had really good stuff, and then I got this today. I'm supposed to be getting some more stuff tomorrow. So, uh, really excited. So, if you're in the area and you're able to make it, Friday, be there. So, I'm, I'm start, I get to this guy's house. He got a really cool house. Got, like, uh, caribou heads on the wall. Like, uh, deer antlers on the wall and everything. He's got, like, tons of guitars. Tons of amps. Tons of speakers. Tons of turntables. I mean, he has, like... Total man cave, the whole house. It's awesome. Uh, start looking through the records. He had a bunch that he had a bunch he was keeping, but then a bunch that he was going to sell. And the first things I saw that really stuck out to me uh, were these jazz promos. Check that out. Thelonious Monk. Uh, it's Monk's time with that timing strip. Those Columbia timing strips, I don't know what it is, man. They just, I love them. And I'm telling you, if I wasn't trying to do some special stuff at Record Store Day, I would te definitely keep these because they are sweet. And if they don't sell, I'll probably keep them because they, but they will sell. Everybody loves this. This is a white label promo. Look at that. Uh, with that beautiful timing strip. I love that. This is like the crispiest one. Um, another really cool one is this one, although it's the classic. Somebody tried to rip the timing strip off, but it's still there. Oh, look at that, Monk. Uh, really cool promo here. And these are all like, really clean. Look at that, man. So sweet. Um, ne I never see early Monk stuff like this, um, especially not promos. Look at that. And someone redacted on there that it says, it, it's supposed to say under that black mark, it's supposed to say radio station copy. Uh, not for sale, whatever. Not for resale. This one's really cool. Miles and Monk at Newport. With the white label. Oh, gosh, these are so cool. These uh, Miles Davis Six Eyes promos. Look at that. And they're, and they're very clean. Uh, this one, don't see this one very often. A jazz track. Yeah. Splat out. And then there's this one with the... That's a really nice timing strip on this one as well. Um, with the two eye. But, man, those are some sweet promos. Uh, just a heads up, like, a lot of those Columbia, the timing strip and the white label promos, uh, it depends on what album it is, but they can they can go for good money. I know if it's like Bob Dylan, they go for really good money. I had a Joni Mitchell Blue that had the timing strip on it. It wasn't really clean, but I think I sold it for like $150, $200, bucks, something like that. They, they can go for a lot. It's kind of surprising sometimes. 
because um, I kind of was in the school of thought, you know, when I first started selling that promos really didn't, it didn't matter. But uh, some, some people are big time <clears throat> promo collectors and it does matter to them. Um, and there's something special about them. Uh, this is Bill Evans and uh, Jim Hall. Uh, undercurrent this is one of my favorite jazz records it is so good uh, and this is an original mono press these are really tough to find um this is really clean and i was when i found this like so freaking sweet um i'm on duel two um viva la trance pretty cool i was kind of tempted to keep these um i'm on duel two again this is really cool Really clean copy of the Cramps, Gravest Hits. This is original press. You know, I never see punk stuff like this, so I had to get it. Um, this is uh, Grateful Dead at Felt Form, picture disc, only a thousand copies made. It's a bootleg. Uh, this is Motorhead. This is one that I get asked for a lot. Uh, John Lee Hooker, Endless Boogie, and I just got one for myself, because I've been wanting one for a long time. And then he had this one. I'm like, ain't that how it goes? Um, another thing I get asked for a lot is Iron Maiden, Life After Death. This is Life After Death. And any Iron Maiden people really look for it. This is a, a piece of mine in the shrink. I really, I really like that album. Um, this is the best of White Snake, which, you know, it's not the fanciest things in the world, but people like White Snake, especially this album. Love this record. I grew up listening to the heck out of this record. Love it. Uh, but I mean white snake sells very well So great stuff um, He had a bunch of well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that one. So this is sex pistols um, This is like some rare uh, EP uh, Anarchy in the UK red vinyl It's kind of cool um, He had some some cool import stuff. So this guy he travels um, he travels around and I think, uh, he travels around playing music and or, uh, dealing antiques and guitars and stuff. I mean, he, he was kind of an interesting dude. I don't know exactly what he did, but I know he travels a lot. He goes out of the country a lot and he finds this stuff and brings it back. Um, X ain't love grand. Uh, let's see here. A uh, Tangerine Dream is a German press, I believe. Uh, um, so he so well, he just got back from Russia, and he said that he bought a ton of this stuff like this. This is the Beatles' Hard Day's Night with the uh, Russian text on there. Look at this, Ingve Malmsteen. <laughs> it's so cool, man. Uh, but a lot of these, here's some uh, Russian compilations. So there's Rolling Stones. Um, here's another Rolling Stones. Um, I don't know if it's a compilation or if it's between the buttons. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, this one's called Play With Fire, Rolling Stones. I've seen this one a, a lot. Uh, there's another Hard Day's Night. This is a lot cleaner copy. The other one's kind of a beater. Um, this is the Beatles Love Songs. Uh, and this is, I believe, Russian as well. It's the Beatles, A Taste of Honey. That's a Russian. You can see by the... And then this is Deep Purple. It's called Smoke on the Water. I believe it's a greatest hits compilation as well. I've got two of these. Cletus, Cletus Clearwater Revival called Traveling Band. It's a Russian compilations. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Sunshine of My Life. This is Russian, obviously. Uh, so I believe that's all the ones I got that were Russian, but like those are really kind of cool. Um, Miles, Live at, at, live at the Plug Nickel. Um, this is actually a promo as well. Uh, original master recording of the Beatles' Abbey Road. Uh, Cosmic Egg, Wolf Mother. Johnny Cash at St. Quentin. Um, he, something I always get asked for is punk. Everybody wants punk and metal, and I never see it in this area. Um, and he had a little bit. So I got this was, uh, this is Boston, not LA. Um, you know, 
uh, gangrene, decadence, the freeze, uh, the FUs, the groinoids, uh, Jerry's kids, a bunch of uh, really cool punk stuff on here. I, I'm not a big uh, connoisseur of punk, but I know this um, kind of did some research on this. It's kind of desirable. Um, the Fall, this is the original press. Uh, Screaming Broccoli. I had this a while ago. It's kind of a neat record. Um, let's get into this. This is a Limelight uh, issue. Eric Dolphy, uh, Last Date. Nothing fancy, but it's Eric Dolphy, so I had to get it. The Doors, this is an original gold label. Um, you know, Grateful Dead, King Crimson, Starless and Bible Black, Ahmad Jamal, uh, The Clash. I believe that's an import of some sort. Feels like it anyways. Fillmore East. Um, man, this is an incredible record. It's just one. You can usually get it fairly cheap, but... This is one of my favorite records of all time. Um, Oliver Nelson, uh, The Blues and the Abstract Truth, Paul Chambers, Eric Dolphy, Bill Evans, uh, Roy Haynes, Freddie Hubbard. That lineup is freaking dynamite. When I saw this, I crapped myself. And then when I pulled out the record and looked at label, about crapped myself in a bad way. I was so upset. It looked original because it's, it's, it's older. But I believe this is like a late 70s press. Uh, but still, dynamite record, man. Uh, Neil Jackson, Statements on Impulse. Blues Jam in Chicago, this one is killer. Uh, it's got the original lineup of Fleetwood Mac with Peter Green, Otis Spann, Willie Dixon, J.T. Brown, S.P. Leary, killer blues drummer. This is really great. It's volume two. I have volume one and volume two, but holy moly. Let's kiss some smoke and stuff. Uh, Zeppelin two. Presence. Oh, yeah. Dylan's Greatest Hits. You know, Dylan, Dylan. Uh, Michael Jackson Thriller. It's just one. I could have a million copies and sell them all. Um, you know, a bunch of Van Halen stuff. Uh, the Beatles Talk Down Under. This is like a interview thing. Not nothing special. Uh, Chet Becker Quartet, uh, Jazz at Ann Arbor, original uh, Pacific Jazz Press, uh, Best of Line, Listen Smith, freaking killer. I got this recently and listened to it and loved it, ended up keeping it, and then I saw it and I had to get it because it's so good. Uh, the Norman Blake and Friends, uh, just some killer strings, some bluegrass. Iron Butterfly, Sun and Steel, um, an original Let It Bleed. I got another thriller. Getting super thrilled up in here. Um, David Bowie's Starman. This is a, another Russian one. So cool. I'm tempted to keep that, but I won't. Uh, Pinups. Uh, station to ch station changes to Bowie. Um, this one's kind of neat. This is uh, The Who. Uh, maximum R&B. Uh oh, it's upside down. On this side, it's not. Uh, maximum R&B picture disc. Uh, I know Maximum R&B was like a. Um, I remember there being a CD box set of it, and it was like a history or something. So this is kind of weird, but I know it's um it's like a live thing here. Uh, so anyways, I'm not sure, but it's it's pretty cool. Got that. Live at Leeds and. John Lee Hooker, Mad Man Blues. This is a really cool. Tempted to keep it, but um, trying to trying to not keep very much. I only kept like four or five records from this haul, and uh, I'll show those in a later video. So he also had a lot of really cool Hendrix stuff. I got a bunch of Hendrix stuff, so buckle up. Uh, uh, Hush was a Hush now, yeah. Hendrix Hush now. It's a bootleg. Uh, last night, uh, second time around. Uh, War Heroes, this is the Essential Hendrix with the 45, this is Volume 2, um, Midnight Lightning, Crash Landing, I really like that one. Um, Hendrix at its best, this one has three records inside, 
Uh, they're all the exact same cover, but one says a volume one, one says volume two, one says volume three. So they're all three in there. Um, this is one of the cooler ones. Um, I've never actually seen this one. Hackensack Blues Live. That one's really cool. I was tempted to keep that one. Um, this is a Hendrix compilation. I think you could buy these on TV back in the day. Um, this is another one I think you could buy on TV. Springboard. Uh, essential hits. Um, yeah, you got Smash Hits. You got uh, Hendrix Cry of Love. It's a great one. Uh, this one I've never seen. Uh, Guitar Giants Volume 2. I looked it up. Volume 1 looks just like it, but it's a different color. Uh, Hendrix plays Curtis Knight Flashing. Uh, Hendrix and Lonnie Youngblood. Uh, and then got some other stuff. Got you know, Grateful Dead, Europe 72. Um, and then I got like a bunch of Skinner, which Leonard Skinner sells very well for me because we are in the South. But you know what? Skinner sells where at, well everywhere probably because they're great. Um, so anyways, that is... Uh, most of what I got today, some really cool stuff. So you guys, if you're interested in that stuff, um, I've got that plus a ton of other stuff in the works. So come to Record Store Day on Friday. We're going to be making some deals. We're going to be selling some hot wax. Do not miss it. We'll see you there.